better. Right then YouTube, today I'm going to show you guys, I'm going to break down basically the three parts of a back pullover. Well, they will. So guys, if this is the first time you're watching a video from me, don't forget to click that subscribe button and ding dong the notification bell so you get notified every single week when I upload my weekly videos. Now, as I said, in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down the back pullover, which is a quintessential move used in freestyle calisthenics and also for some gymnastics as well. I'm not going to be doing it to gymnastics standard, but calisthenics guys, this will apply to you. So, we're going to break down the three essential parts of what a back pullover is which to me is a toes to bar leg raise, an inverted row, followed by a negative pull up. So let's get into this. So the first part, toes to bar raise. What we wanna do, get up onto the bar. We wanna be in a hollow body position. So we're gonna engage our abs and we're gonna make sure that we don't have an anterior pelvic tilt. So we don't want our hips to be backwards like this. We want our hips forward in a nice slight C shape. From here, we're gonna engage our scapula. So we're gonna depress and retract them. So we're gonna pull them down to here, do a scapula pull up. Then what we're gonna do is bring our toes to the bar. So starting with the legs, until we get to this position here. You wanna to try to keep your legs as straight as possible. Point your toes. Squeeze the quads, come up nice and controlled, and after we've got the toes to bar, we're going to do a slight lean back around our shoulder joint. So after we've got the toes up to here, we're going to lean back to this position here, and then we're going to be ready to start the second portion, which is an inverted row. So the inverted row. What an inverted row basically is, if you imagine that you're on the rowing machine at the gym, you're sitting down like this and you're pulling the bar to your waistline. That's exactly what we're doing, except we're upside down on a bar at the calisthenics park. So if you move around to here so you can see the angle, what we're going to do, we're going to do our toes to bar, the slight lean back, and then I'm going to demonstrate the inverted row. Let's go. That is an inverted row. It's putting a lot of pressure on the lats, so you do need fairly strong lats to be able to do this. I'd say you probably need to be able to do at least eight to 10 pull-ups before you can do an inverted row. It depends where your pulling strength is, whether it's horizontal or vertical. So that requirement can vary. You may be able to learn this first before you can even do a pull-up, who knows? But to me, you do need a base element of pulling strength to be able to do this move with correct form, not using momentum. So not swinging your legs up over the bar. We're talking about strict form here. So once we get a good high inverted row, we've brought the bar to our waistline. We're just gonna do a little extra squeeze. Try and kick your legs over a little bit so you can roll up to a straight arm position on top of the bar. Should look something like this. this is where you'll end up. So as you just saw there, once I got my hips to the bar and pulled a little bit extra and just swung my legs over once I'd got to the top, there is actually a fourth element in here, which I forgot to mention at the beginning, which is essentially a straight bar din. So once you've got your hips over, you'll be in this position with the bar on your hips and you'll be lying on top of it. From here, you've just got to do a dip or the top half of a dip and push the bar away to the straight arm position. This part, the reason I left, well basically the reason I left it out at the beginning, and this is a three step process and not four step process, is because you don't actually have to get to a straight arm position. This, the reason I'm using a straight arm position is just for ease of separation between the movements. 
but I will show you at the end what the whole movement looks like and that will not include the straight bar dip portion. So we're moving on now to the third part which is the negative pull up. So a negative pull up as we all know is starting from chin over the bar position and coming down. That's exactly what you're going to be doing with the back pull over except you're going to be starting with the bar at your waistline here So it should look something like this. the back pullover it's literally that simple the main two things to master to be able to get this move down is the toes to bar with correct form and the inverted row with correct form the rest of it comes fairly natural due to this thing called gravity and that's just the way it happens people so if you've enjoyed this video and you're going to use it to learn this essential move for calisthenics the back pullover make sure you drop a like on the video it really does help out the channel don't forget if you haven't done so already to click that subscribe button down below don't forget to ding dong the little bell that appears next to it so you get notified every single time i upload thank you very much for watching see you in the next one